Welcome. The date was May 8th, 1902. 752 Eastern Standard. It was the island of Martinique in the Southern Caribbean. Out of all the volcanoes on this island, Mount Pele was the one to erupt this morning. It erupted violently, and it was life changing. Mount Pele is thought to be one of the most destructive and largest volcanoes of all time. It stands 1,400 feet above sea level, and it takes about 100 square meters up of the island. Oh, want to know another fact? Mount Pele is a andesitic-filled stratovolcano located along a convergent boundary. Thirty thousand people lived on the island of Martinique. Two survived. The rest died instantly. How would you like to have that on your conscience? During the initial explosion, there were two huge clouds of dust that erupted into the air. One went rolling down Mount Pele down to the city of St. Pierre, killing many people. The other one went into the air, raining ash down across the sky. These two huge clouds are called New York Dantes. They were discovered by a man named Alfred LeCroc. I know that's a funny name, but he was a genius. He spent a year there after the eruption. He discovered everything we knew about Mount Pele. I love him. Oh my god, pasta and a toilet is so much better. How are people on the island of Martinique doing now, you ask? There's about 402,000 people living there, mostly of African descent. They're doing fine, thanks for asking. Martinique, it's not by a little creature by the ocean. In 1902, there was a great commotion. There was a huge volcano. It was called Mount Pele. We go there daily to find scientific research that we couldn't find before because it wasn't on the floor. Now get out of here, you silly advanced 8th graders. Have fun in biology.